This Saha world is like a dream. Master Chin Kung. We might think about this. Do I want to be a Buddha, a Bodhisattva, an Arhat, or an ordinary being? If we wish to be a Buddha, we must let go of our wandering thoughts entirely. Only then our Buddha nature will reappear in our heart, which is the same state of mind as Amitabha Buddha that manifested into the land of ultimate bliss. If we cannot let go of anything, i.e. our body, our familial ties, our properties, our careers, our family and friends, we are holding on to the matters that pollute our pure heart. All these factors are disorienting our peace of mind, which makes our heart be unequal and impure. Hence, we are unable to escape the fate of falling into samsara. The suffering in this sea of samsara is endless. Hence, the beings in the three lower realms and six realms are truly worthy of sympathy. What can we do about it? Those who encounter Buddha Dharma are considered very fortunate as it takes many lifetimes of good roots, good fortunes and virtues, as well as right conditions to encounter it. There are many people who can not encounter this opportunity in this lifetime. Since we are lucky enough to have this chance, we must prioritize it above everything else in life. Just like Venerable Haishan's words, everything else in this world is fake. This Saha world is a dream that we must wake up from. Every day we wake up from our slumber and remember yesterday is gone for good. Not even a trace of it can be found. The smart ones would be aware of this illusion of the world and let it go entirely from their own heart. Every day we practice on the encounters we come across. What do we practice on? Remain untainted and undisturbed when our six senses are in contact with the six stimuli. The Pure Land Method is unique and wondrous in this regard because it applies the name of Amitabha Buddha as our shield protecting our minds from the pollution and disturbances. In other words, it secures our purity equality and awakening. These three qualities are our true heart, which is also known as the Buddha's nature. The heart of Amitabha Buddha encompasses these three qualities, which we all possess, but are buried with pollutants from our six senses and six stimuli. If we are awakened today, we do not allow them to pollute us any further by reciting the name of Amitabha. Two sides of a coin. When we encounter troubles in this world, it's a reminder from the heavens. It is not necessarily a bad thing that we face setbacks. The experience of pain from setbacks helps us to grow and be wiser as a person. Perhaps we may have to shed tears, go through heartache, and be depressed until we can't sleep at night. If we are able to reflect on ourselves in the face of troubles, we are letting light into our life. Perhaps these troubles are our reminder from the heavens. If things are going against our wishes, we must reflect and review ourselves, whether there is something lacking or unbecoming of our conduct. 
Be grateful every day for the people and matters we encounter, whether they are favorable or unpleasant. Use a heart of gratitude and joy to face them. Every thought will have its karmic imprint. Use right thoughts and right conduct to handle people and matters in our everyday life. Sometimes we may not say it out loud, but people are still able to feel your ill or kind intentions from your heart. Positive mindset, kind speeches, and conduct attract positive energy in our life in the form of good people and good things. Below is the latest sermon from Master Ching Kung sent by Venerable Wu Xing. Today is the Buddha's birthday, a day where we commemorate Shakyamuni Buddha. Today is the most cherished day for us, the sentient beings. Buddha arrived in this world, illuminated our life, and brought happiness to us. His sutras are the light that he brought to us, which brings us joy and happiness. If we accept and practice his teaching in our daily life, no one is left out from achieving their happiness. No one will be falling short of achieving perfectly good fortunes. If you do not yield any good fortunes in your cultivation, this means your current concept or method in which you practice might be erroneous. Because if the concept and methods of practice is correct, you will definitely attain happiness. This is the earnest truth. Therefore, we must concentrate and be single-minded on our thoughts of Amitabha, invoking the vow to be reborn in the Pure Land. If we practice as such, we'll definitely arrive at the land of Lotus, the Pure Land. Master Ching Kung Sermon, translation by Dylan Lee.